By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to upgrade your SSD without losing any data. Let's go. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your target disk has enough space for you to move your data over. To make sure of that, we can right click on the start menu and open disk management. Here you'll see the current disk capacity and mine's about 230 gigabytes. And the SSD I'm planning to upgrade to is 512 gigabytes. So it's clearly got more space. That means we've met the first condition and can move forward. Next up, you're gonna need some tools and you're definitely gonna need a screwdriver, whether you're upgrading a laptop or a desktop SSD. And you may need some opening tools for a laptop as well. If your computer, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, doesn't have any extra slots for an additional drive, you may need something like an external enclosure, which can help you in this process. All you have to do is open the enclosure, place the SSD correctly inside, and then connect it to your PC. So what's next? We'll need a reliable cloning tool, but trying to clone manually or with the wrong method can easily result in a drive that won't boot. So I'd recommend a tool that's widely compatible, easy to use, and guarantees the cloned drive is bootable, eases disk copy. By the way, it recently launched a very unique feature that lets you automatically upgrade to Windows 11 during disk cloning process. It can bypass the hardware restrictions and start working with just a few clicks. All right, let's get back on track. Now that we've connected the new SSD and downloaded the cloning tool, let's open it up. This is sweet. It first pops up asking if I wanna migrate the system, but since I'm gonna copy all my data, I'll just click on no. At the menu, there's two main modes. Disk mode clones the whole drive, and system mode, like it said, only migrates the Windows system to the new drive. Here I'm going with disk mode. For the record, you don't need a backup to do this because the procedure is completely safe. So the first step is to select the source disk, which is the hard drive we're using right now. You can identify it by its name and storage size. Then we choose the target disk, which is your new SSD here. After that, just click next. On the next page, you'll see three options for the new drive's partition layout. Usually, autofit is the best choice, but you can also choose copy as the source, which makes the new SSD's layout match the old drive more closely but you'll still have to deal with any unallocated space manually. The last one is manual adjustment, which I don't really recommend because if you don't know much about disk partitioning, you might mess up and cause some problems. So let's just go with autofit. Now click proceed. You'll get a warning message now, but since my hard disk is empty, there's nothing to worry about. Just click continue. Now it'll take some time, depending on how much data you had on your old drive. Let's just skip ahead and fast forward. All right, so we're back. The system has finished. As it mentioned here, you have cloned the system to a USB drive, which we did. I used an enclosure. Do you want to boot the system from the USB drive? I'm not going to do that due to stability issues. It's usually not recommended. So we're going to go ahead and press no. And now we get the operation is successful. We press finish. And now if we look in my disk management, we can see that the drive has been copied, but the main drive is much different, much larger. So that's perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the PC. I'm gonna go ahead and move this NVMe drive into the same slot that the current NVMe drive is in. If you're not too familiar with the hardware part, you can check out the video in the top right corner. It covers the whole process of taking apart your device and swapping out the SSD. And this is it. We've successfully upgraded the SSD and this is my old drive here. So now I can go ahead and I can wipe this. I can use it for data backups, I can use it as extra storage, I can use it for a whole bunch of different purposes, and we're all good to go. Super easy, super quick process, hope this helped. 